Humans have always been fascinated by the idea of exploring the stars. As we look up at the night sky, the thought of traveling to distant planets and discovering new worlds has inspired countless stories and dreams. This dream of exploring beyond our solar system is known as interstellar travel. But how realistic is this dream? Can we really leave Earth and venture into the vastness of space? To start with, let's think about why people would want to travel beyond our solar system. There are three main reasons. Scientific research, getting resources, and finding new places to live if Earth becomes uninhabitable. First, there's the excitement of discovery. Scientists have always been curious about the universe and what lies beyond our planet. Robotic probes have already been sent to explore other planets and moons in our solar system. These robots can gather a lot of information without risking human lives. They send back data about what they find, helping us learn more about space. However, there's also the idea that humans could travel to space themselves. If we want to study other star systems up close, we might think about sending people instead of just robots. But this brings us to the first big challenge technology. Right now, our spacecraft can only travel within our solar system. The closest star, Proxima Centauri, is about 4.2 light years away. Even if we could travel at the fastest speeds possible with our current technology, it would still take thousands of years to get there. We need a way to travel, but developing this technology is very challenging. Another reason people talk about traveling to other stars is to find resources. Our solar system has plenty of materials we can use. For example, there are asteroids and planets like Mars that could provide valuable resources. So there might not be an immediate need to look for resources far beyond our solar system. But what about finding a new planet to live on if Earth becomes uninhabitable? This idea has been popular for a long time. People wonder if we could move to a new planet to escape problems like overpopulation or environmental damage. However, the idea of moving to another planet is not as simple as it sounds. Think about how many people live on Earth right now. Every year, the population grows by millions. If we wanted to move people to another planet, we would need to send a huge number of people regularly. This would be incredibly difficult and expensive. It's also important to remember that we can't just pick any planet and expect it to be a perfect new home. A planet might have the right conditions on paper, but it could still be very different from Earth in ways we can't fully understand from a distance. Now, let's look at the challenges involved in traveling to other stars. One of the biggest challenges is finding a way to travel long distances. Current spacecraft can only move at a tiny fraction of the speed of light. Even if we could build a spacecraft that travels at a significant fraction of light speed, it would still take hundreds or thousands of years to reach another star. Scientists have thought about building generational ships, which are large spacecraft that could carry people and sustain them for long journeys. The idea is that the people on the ship would have children and their children would continue the journey. However, this comes with many problems. We would need to create a self-sustaining environment where people could live for generations. We'd also face huge technological and energy challenges to keep the ship going for such a long time. Another significant obstacle is the Oort Cloud, a vast region of icy bodies that surrounds our solar system. The Oort Cloud extends from about 2,000 to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. For context, 1 AU is the distance from Earth to the Sun about 93 million miles. The Oort cloud is considered the boundary of our solar system, and any spacecraft leaving the solar system would have to pass through this region. This presents a challenge, because the Oort cloud is filled with countless small objects, which could pose a risk to any spacecraft traveling at high speeds. Navigating through the Oort cloud safely would require advanced technology and careful planning, adding another layer of difficulty to interstellar travel. Another major issue is finding a suitable planet to live on. Even if we find a planet that seems to have the right conditions, there's no guarantee it would be perfect for humans. The planet might have an atmosphere that doesn't support life or conditions that are too harsh. Plus, there could be other forms of life that might not be compatible with humans or our ecosystems. We would need to send probes to investigate these planets closely before attempting to colonize them. 
And even then, we might have to wait for decades or even centuries to get the information we need. Let's also consider time dilation, a concept from Einstein's theory of relativity. As an object moves faster and closer to the speed of light, time slows down for it compared to someone who is not moving. This means that astronauts traveling at high speeds would experience less passage of time than people back on Earth. In theory, this could make long journeys seem shorter for those on the spacecraft. For example, a trip to a star 10 light years away could feel like just a few years for the astronauts, while many years would pass on Earth. But achieving such high speeds requires enormous amounts of energy and technology that we don't currently have. Moreover, traveling at such high speeds presents risks. Space is not empty. It contains tiny particles that can become dangerous projectiles when traveling fast. These particles could damage the spacecraft and make it unsafe for the people on board. Dealing with these risks is another challenge that needs to be solved before interstellar travel could become a reality. Another possibility of traveling to stars might be at the speeds close to the speed of light. Scientists have explored this exciting idea, especially through the concept of time dilation. Time dilation is a strange but fascinating result of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. According to this theory, as you move faster and closer to the speed of light, time actually slows down for you compared to someone who's not moving. This means that if you were traveling in a spaceship at near light speeds, you would age much more slowly than people back on Earth. For example, if you travel to a star that is 10 light years away at nearly the speed of light, you might experience only a few years of travel time, while people on Earth would experience 10 years. This idea is incredibly appealing because it could make long journeys across space seem shorter for those on board the spacecraft. However, while time dilation offers an intriguing possibility, it's not without its limits and challenges. First, there's the problem of achieving such high speeds. Moving at speeds close to the speed of light would require an enormous amount of energy, far more than we can currently generate or store. The energy needed to accelerate a spacecraft to these speeds would be immense, and we don't have the technology to produce or manage that kind of energy. Even if we could somehow overcome this energy challenge, there are other practical issues to address. Space is not empty. It's filled with tiny particles and dust. At extremely high speeds, these particles can become very dangerous. When traveling close to the speed of light, even small particles can strike the spacecraft with tremendous force. These collisions could damage or even destroy the spacecraft. Scientists would need to find ways to protect the spacecraft from these particles or find a way to travel at high speeds without encountering such risks. Another issue with high-speed travel is the potential for collisions with larger objects, like space debris or small asteroids. At such speeds, even a tiny piece of debris could cause significant damage. Ensuring the safety of a spacecraft traveling near the speed of light would require advanced technology to detect and avoid collisions, which we do not have yet. Now, let's consider the social and economic implications of interstellar travel. If we were to send people on such long journeys, they'd be leaving their entire lives behind. They would not be able to return to Earth as the travel times involved would make it impossible to maintain contact or return. This would create a significant emotional and social impact on the astronauts and their families. People would need to be willing to spend their entire lives in space, knowing they would never see their home planet again. Moreover, the idea of sending a spacecraft on a one-way trip to explore distant stars raises questions about the value and purpose of such missions. It would be challenging to justify the enormous costs of these missions if there's no hope of returning or making contact with Earth. Governments and organizations would need to consider whether the benefits of exploring distant stars outweigh the enormous costs and risks involved. The economic aspects are also important. Developing the technology for interstellar travel would require massive investments. Companies like NASA and SpaceX would need to spend billions of dollars on research, development, and construction of spacecraft. These costs could be a significant barrier, especially when compared to the potential benefits of such missions. 
It's uncertain whether the resources required could be justified by the scientific knowledge gained or the potential for new discoveries. While the concept of traveling to the stars using time dilation is exciting, it comes with a set of complex challenges. The enormous energy requirements, risks from space particles, and the social and economic implications all present significant obstacles. For now, the dream of interstellar travel remains a distant possibility, requiring advancements in technology and a deep understanding of the practical and emotional impacts of such missions. So, if we explore space with our current technology, these challenges remind us of the vast distances and difficulties involved in reaching beyond our solar system. Well, that was it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you want to know more about the gateways to space, watch our video on everything about the wormholes, the key to interstellar travel. See you again. Bye.